Hello, my name is Azza True, and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront video. In this one, I have nothing major to talk about, but we ha do have a number of little bits of information you may find informative. Now, if you are new around here, this is your first video of mine, make sure you smash that subscribe button, purely because I will keep you guys updated with any Battlefront updates as and when we get it, so you will never miss a thing on my channel. I literally cover everything there is possibly to talk about on Star Wars Battlefront and I will keep be keeping you guys up to date up until launch and post launch as well. So what can you expect to see in this video? Well I'll be talking about information on the companion support service app for Star Wars Battlefront. We've got a little bit of information on that. I'll talk about that at the end of the video and uh, we've got confirmation whether Y-Wings will be playable or not. We've also managed to find out whether XP carries over from the missions part of the game to multiplayer and also Will there be Empire missions, not just Rebel missions, as we've been shown currently? But first, EA Star Wars confirmed that in Europe you'll only be able to buy the Deluxe Edition as a digital download. Yes, that is correct. North America gets it as a physical copy as well, but unfortunately for us in the UK and Europe, will not be able to buy it as a physical copy. Now, this is quite disappointing purely because digital games cost a lot more than the physical games over here, specifically for Xbox and PlayStation 4. That's why I've been buying my games physical because it's actually much cheaper, yet you get the same content and a physical copy of the game, which is really disappointing that EA has have made this decision, but we shall see how things go. Y-Wings have been confirmed as a non-controllable vehicle, so no point in the game will you be able to fly as the, uh, there's a lot of people really disappointed about that, but you know, they, I enjoy playing as them in uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 in the space battles because they literally had just one purpose, which was destroy the opposing ships, but you know, we will just have to see how things go again, you know, there is going to be a variety of ships. Unfortunately, I was hoping there'd be more than just X-Wings for the Rebels. We'll just have to see if they announce any more. Let's talk about missions now. So, EA Star Wars posted on Facebook, While survival missions are Rebel only, we will offer Imperial specific missions in other modes. So, that was pretty cool. Um, I can see why, probably because everything would have to be reworked for various... Um, side so obviously the gameplay we saw at E3 and the alpha test was specific to the rebels but other game modes will show the Imperials as the playable character I think we'll get a trailer probably before launch which will be really cool and I think that's a really nice idea that each side actually gets their own dedicated modes to follow that up someone actually asked does experience within missions apply to multiplayer progression and the answer is, playing missions do not grant you multiplayer career experience, but does provide you with credit rewards you can spend on buying unlocks. So these credits in-game are essentially your way of buying unlocks such as weapons, emotes, heads and uh, things to customise your hands which is basically your loadout. So uh, that's pretty cool and I'm really, you know, it sort of balances it out I guess because you could literally just play um, missions over and over again and get loads and loads of XP and then go into multiplayer and have all this really cool stuff and it would sort of make it a little bit unbalanced and obviously um, because there is skill based matchmaking it would sort of mess up the level if you get what I mean. So this is the final part of the video and basically we have a little bit of information regarding what Uprise may be working on. They're the studio that made Battlelog and of course Battlelog is not going to be integrated with Battlefront, it's completely different. But Uprise have changed their webpage to display Battlefront is coming soon for them. Now this has already been on the page for about a year but... Battlefield Hardline has since been removed from there because obviously it's been launched so it seems to me that they are definitely working on something really cool and they did post this on Facebook. Want to use modern tech to build the most awesome player experiences for games such as Battlefield and Battlefront? We're now looking for passionate engineers to join our highly engaged team. This says to me they are definitely building some sort of service, maybe a companion app that allows people to use, uh, get their stats maybe or engage with the game a lot more. I think it's going to be a really cool idea whatever they do because a lot of the DICE developers did stress that this is something much better than Battlelog and something they really really like so 
We shall see how things go. I think we might see something at Gamescom, but that's just my guess. Now, thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you click that subscribe button and drop a like. Comment below if you want to discuss anything uh, I talked about in this video. And if you missed any of the two videos on screen, there'll be the cards function, the little eye in the top right hand corner on your device, or you can click the annotations. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you all in my next Battlefront video.